To make full use of the power of Stockopedia, you will want to upload your portfolio. This lets you identify hidden risks in your portfolio, as well as track the performance over time. And it's really easy to do. Hover over folios in the sidebar, click Create Folio, and then enter a portfolio name or a watch list name, depending on your, what your goal is. Click Create, and you'll be taken to a naked page. Add stocks to build a watch list, add transactions to build your real portfolio tracker. When you add stocks, it's so easy to get them in. You can search across our database of shares and build that watch list. When you click add stocks, it'll be right there available to you. But I want to show you a quick way to get transaction data in. If you do have a CSV downloaded from your broker or a spreadsheet, you can just drag it in here. Go through the steps to validate that all the records are correct and click import. When the portfolio uploads, you'll see a portfolio view with a special chart here that gives you the ability to track the valuation over time, as well as the performance as a percentage against your benchmark of choice. This is a very quick way to understand how your performance bears up against the benchmark you chose in different timeframes. When you scroll down, you'll see a table view. This lets you look at the performance of each share daily against the market on an intraday basis. We also have a range of other portfolio views that let you track your percentage gain since you bought the shares, as well as your cost basis and more. You can customize these views as you see fit by clicking the customize button. I want to show you the ranks view because we've got several of these views pre-rolled for you. Here you can look at the quality, value and momentum rank of every share in your portfolio, as well as the overall stock rank. This portfolio I just uploaded has only one high rank share, but it has six low rank shares. This can be a risk because while there's nothing wrong with holding more speculative low ranking shares, after all, you've done your own research and you've probably got very good insights into them. If a portfolio is heavily skewed to lower ranking shares, that could be a risk, as we found in all our tracking that lower rank shares have a tendency to underperform, on average, baskets of higher rank shares. You can also see in this view the risk rating. If I sort by that, we can also see that this portfolio uploaded has a lot of highly speculative shares. These shares are very, very, very volatile. And while some can double in a year or more, as a class, we found they tend to underperform except in some extreme market environments. There are other views available. So if you like scanning charts, you can view all the charts of your holdings at once in a glance. But I want to show you the allocation tab, which is up here. When you click it, you'll see your sector diversification as a pie chart and a bar chart here. This portfolio has heavy weightings to energy and basic materials sectors, but it has a very low weighting to more defensive sectors. As a portfolio of highly speculative shares with no defensive ballast, it could be actually at risk in a significant market downturn. Scrolling down the page, you can also see the position weights. Looking at the different position holdings, this one is quite heavily weighted in the portfolio, but some are very, very small, which means they won't necessarily contribute. This could be a good way to eyeball whether you've got a bit overweight on some of your holdings. You also have powerful news on all your portfolio or watch list holdings, as well as the ability to see all the editorial and discussion that has come out on those shares related to your portfolio. There is also on the Today page a widget as you scroll down, which gives you a summary of different portfolios that you've uploaded, as well as your ability to scan all the news across all your portfolios at once. I highly recommend uploading your portfolios.